Not to be like a crazy conspiracy theorist, maybe I should go move to a forest in the middle of nowhere. Is it cool to say Yellowstone? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Rumor Reads. Uh, so I was tagged by Andrew over at Get Right In In and Joanna over at Joanna Sosa to do the Nerdy Narrative book tag. This tag was created by the Codex Cantina to celebrate Leslie over at the Nerdy Narratives birthday. So happy, very late birthday, Leslie. Uh, this tag is in honor of you. Um, if you guys don't know who Leslie is, she is amazing. Um, her channel is so much fun. And I will link her plus all the other folks I mentioned just now in the description down below. They're also great. Definitely go check them out. And since obviously I am a nerd, we're all fucking nerds on booktube, <laughs> this tag is great. Um, and let's just go right on in and start the tag. Uh, so the first question is science fiction. What is a futuristic or imaginative element in a book that you are glad is not real? There are so many things in sci-fi like that I would not want in real life. Like so many things. But the thing is, they're like, a lot of those things can come true. Like, not sound like a conspiracy theorist or anything, but like those, like in sci-fi, they always have like things that like track your brain or like, like they like input things into your brain and then you could like have a little computer in your brain and I'm like, that could one day be a thing. I don't fucking know. And like our phones already track us where we are and are listening to us. Um, so like the little robots in sci-fi that like listen to you, uh, like that's already real. <laughs> so damn, damn. Um, not to be like a crazy conspiracy theorist, but like there's a lot of stuff in like dystopia, sci-fi books and movies that like could one day maybe become true. Uh, ah, yikes. Ah, um, maybe I should go move to a forest in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So not to go off on a tangent, but I was re-watching uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier because I was in a mood after Falcon uh, and the Winter Soldier. Anyways, in that movie, they have like that whole algorithm thing um, that Hydra created to like determine who's like a good guy and a bad guy in Hydra sense. But then also like S.H.I.E.L.D. thought they were going to use the, the shooty things, uh, <laughs> the helicarrier. Um, to like neutralize threats before they happened and whatever. But anyways, and the whole algorithm to like determine who's good or bad just seems like a bad idea. So we'll go with that because that's on my mind right now. Um, but really any technology that's in sci-fi that's like we're gonna read a person's mind or we're gonna like monitor them, it's just like also creepy, I hate it. So question number two is horror. What has been the scariest moment for you while reading a book? Um, so you guys know I like don't read scary books because I'm a wimp um, and anytime I do read a book that's like slightly scary I just kind of like really like skim the scary parts uh, it's really bad and so I don't really I can't think of can't think of a book that's made me like terrified because I refuse I just skim those parts so I I honestly I don't know Fantasy. What would you import from a fantasy world into our own world? And that is 100% magic. I want magic. I don't even fucking care. Okay, wait, I do fucking care which kind it is. Um, but like, I want magic. I just don't want any of those like creepy magic systems that like make you like blood sacrifice and shit. I, just, I want a fun magic system. Um, maybe like a whimsical one from like a children's novel would be a good time. Um, yeah, anything that's not like soul crushing magic, really, I want, I want magic. I want a fun, fun, fun magic system um, and do spells and like fly and like, I don't know. I just, I want magic, y'all. I want magic. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going with that. Question number four is comic slash manga. What's a comic you have enjoyed or one you have wanted to check out? So I don't really read comics. I read a lot of manga. Um, but I haven't read that many comics in my life. There's this one comic that I always see like hanging around, uh, what was it? Saga? I think it's Saga. Yes, Saga, um, which is like some sci-fi fantasy, uh, comic that's like super, super long. And that always looks cool. They have a lot of like fun, cool looking artwork on the covers. I don't really know what it's about, but that's one that I'm always like, one day I'll check that out. It hasn't happened yet. So maybe that one. Um, but yeah, I don't really read too many comics. I mostly read manga. If you guys have any good comics um, that aren't like superhero-y, but like more fantasy or sci-fi comics, like definitely let me know. Put some recs down below. Maybe I'll go check them out. So the next question is literary fiction slash classics. 
What's a classic book you've been meaning to get into but haven't yet? Who? Classics. I don't read many classics. I have been meaning to read A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Husseini for so long. I read The Kite Runner like my sophomore year of high school. I really, really enjoyed that book. Um, it was like one of those books that they make you read in English class, but I actually liked. But that's definitely a book that's been on my list forever and one day I will hopefully read it. The next question is the busy bee. What book would you like to share with all of your friends? So like, I have actually forced most of my friends to read Six of Crows. Uh, like two of my friends, I let them borrow the book, uh, like my copy of the book or I let them as in I forced them to borrow my copy of the book and read it and then two other friends I like bought them a copy of the first book and made them read it um uh so like yeah Six of Crows is a book I've actually done this to people for and been like you have to read this like I'm sorry uh you must um so that is definitely a book I share with all of my friends right now um yeah I feel like I can't go a friggin' tag video without mentioning Six of Crows and I'm so sorry friends. Influencer. If you could have influenced an author to make a different decision in a book, what would it have been? I would have made, or I would like Sarah J Maas to fix so many things in the Throne of Glass series. There are a lot. First off, like remove that awful love triangle in the beginning, then like don't, kind of spoilers, um, so skip ahead, but like don't kill off the friend in the second book and then like she does. I really liked the third book in the Throne of Glass series, but then that's all thrown away in the fourth and fifth book because again, the like romance, stupid love triangle thing came back in. Uh, so there's a lot of things in the Throne of Glass series that I would change because like the premise of that series is really good. There were so many good like building blocks. It could have been amazing and I feel very upset that like it really sucks that I don't like this book series uh, especially since I invested a lot of time into it I read like five books um, but there's so like just there could have been things that if you changed it it would have just been a, such a better book series and I know a lot of people won't agree with me because people can love Throne of Glass and love Sarah J Maas but I would have changed mostly the romance but a few other small plot things uh, in the book the eighth question is the birthday wish what book do you want for your birthday um, so my birthday is actually like right around the corner very soon. Erica over at Geeklet Read Stuff actually like shared this um, gorgeous, gorgeous edition of Lord of the Rings um, with the like edges are like red with the inscription of the one ring on it. Um, and it's like $75 and I own all of the Lord of the Rings books and I don't even like the books that much. Like the movies are my favorite thing in the world and the books are like yeah they're fun um but the movies um but like i really want that i really want that edition of lord of the rings um can't really justify buying it but maybe i will yellow is it cool to say yellow still yeah that's that's the book that's been on my mind recently it's so beautiful you guys and number eight is the invite Oh, who are you inviting to your book two party? Tag some friends to share cake with. Uh, so like literally everyone I know has done this tag. I feel like I don't know who hasn't been tagged in this tag. And so, I mean, obviously everyone's invited to my book two party. Like it's, it's an open invite. So this tag is an open tag. Like everyone is tagged to do this tag if you haven't yet already. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Bye.